Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad T580. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove, replace and upgrade the RAM for your laptop. By replacing or removing the, the RAM you're not going to change anything, the system everything is going to be left the way you had it before, it's just pretty much plug and play. Uh, once you change the RAM, you power on, it might take up to 30 seconds for the window to do a for motherboard to do a boot, it's called a mem check. So don't panic about that. And your files, everything is going to be left the way that you had it before. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step path to get to those RAMs. If you want to check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop based on the reversions of the CPU generation and stuff like that, check the video that I made on that to check your maximum RAM capacity. But on these laptops, I'll go over what's the limit that we have done with no problem. All right, with all that said, let's do it. So first thing, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. Down here, you're going to remove the battery by unlocking it and pulling the trigger, holding the trigger, and sliding the battery backward. So in the unlock position, backward. All right. Next, we need a good screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFix screwdriver set as they have all the bits that you need. And these are really good quality screwdriver. I purchased myself the basic tool set. You're going to use a Phillips number one. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. Down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws on the corner in the middle here. These screws, they have something called a C-lock. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. Pretty much all you need to do is to and rotate until it becomes really loosened up like that, and that's it, just leave it like that. You want to do that to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we loosen up the, all the screws, you want to grab the opening tool. And we're gonna first start from, doesn't matter where you start, this one, the, the screen cover is kind of broken here, somebody dropped it. You wanna start from the bottom palm rest and the bottom cover, you wanna just twist and you wanna hear those click sounds. That's what you wanna hear. You wanna do that all around in the front. So the clicks, those are what you wanna hear. Once you do that the front, you can go to the side, but usually it comes out pretty easy. Just run it across in the corner back. And you can put a face down, lift it up, a little wiggle around, move around here. There's a lot of clips in here. So I'm trying to lift it up, up and down and it will just come out pretty easy. All right, once we remove this one here, we can see two RAM dims in here. This one is already upgraded. To remove the RAM is, you might have a secondary battery in here. This one is just a dead weight in here. You might want to disconnect your secondary battery just by pulling the cable in here. This is the jack to the left. You don't have to disconnect the battery, but if you want to, you can pull the cable to the left if you have one. If you don't, just leave it on. Even if you have a battery, just leave it on. It's safe to work on the motherboard by having the battery connected. All right, you want to remove the RAM. You want to put your fingers on these uh, rods on the side, and you want to pull them away from each other, just like this. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you want to do is slide it backward in a 45 degree angle. Don't yank it up towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the dim or the RAM. Just slide it backward. That's one. Same thing in here. Pull them away from each other and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. Just pull them up. The uh, RAM chips orientation color of the PCB makes no difference. As long as uh, there are DDR4 RAMs, you're fine. You can, uh, this is a DDR4 2400. Uh, 8 gig, this one it is a 16 gig, so we can have a mix match them. I highly recommend to have a 16 gig and a 16 gig. That's the maximum that we have installed for 32 gig. That's a plenty for this CPU. Anything over 32 gig, it's overkill for this uh, CPUs. So all you need to do, make sure you have the notch on the RAM matching the notch right on the dim in here. So if you want to bring it the other way around, you see the notches are not matching, so it's not going to go through. You have to rotate, bring it down in 45 degree towards the dim, and then push it towards the motherboard. Same thing here. Align the notches in 45 degree angle inside the connector, and then push it down towards the motherboard. You want to hear these triggers 
uh, open and close softly and straight, straight. If you don't push it all the way inside the connector, let's say like this, I'll try to push it towards the motherboard. It can pretty much break the RAM and the triggers are not opening or anything like that. So I can actually break it. So when you push it towards the motherboard nicely, it will slide very softly, all right? So always make sure. Once you have the RAMs in there, all you wanna do is to put the bottom cover. If you don't put the bottom cover, you won't get anything on the screen, but there's a triggers buttons right in here and right over here, then they need to be pushed in by the cover. So it detects that the cover is being installed. So you can put the cover on top. You don't have to necessarily put all the screws as long as you put the screw in the middle in here, tighten it up and tighten up the screw by the battery. Once you do these two, then you can actually flip it over and power on and see if it works. Put so after 30, 40 seconds. If it doesn't power off, switch the RAM places and try again. All right, once you're done with that, you can come back and squeeze every corner. Make sure you don't nice click sound. That's what you want to hear. And then you want to slide the bottom battery on and tighten up the rest of the screws. Again, I hope you guys like this one and help you guys out through your own RAM upgrade for your Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.